Blue hams glow green. Everything is red. Have stars, but still look unhealthy. Rest help. Many people here. So how does Rast know what to kill? I was going to consider this in first person, but I'm going to address it in third. How does Rast know who to kill? Obviously it's a beggar. So it's some... Um, Someone who looks poor. Now, I, last time I did this quest, I remember it quite clearly. Because I did it first. It was my first assassination uh, in the Skyrims. And he was over there by the mill. So he could be over there again. We may well approach this the same kind of way as we did... Uh, I want a Dawnstar. But it's trickier because he had a place to go in Dawnstar. And the other one was out in the open. This one's a bit of both. Over here. So what he's going to try and do is circle the place. Oh yeah, there's a bear, there's a bear, there's a bear away. Because <laughs> Rust doesn't know how um, big this place is. So I figured I'd have him circle it around. I should've done it the other way though, shouldn't I really? And that was a, that was a bad way. Okay, well, we'll go the other way. I got time with this. So okay, it starts here, there's a bridge across the river. Here's this barrow. We leveled, so once we've killed this guy we can... Uh, we can level up. And that will be his level. Detect life would probably be extraordinarily sensible right now. 
it's about the only time I don't have it on. I wonder if there's a, uh, a perk so you can cast works uh, spells underwater. Though I doubt it because it's probably hard coded into the engine or something. Where did that thing go? This person, that person. That person. That moose. That guard. Guard not better. See, I think it's him over there. God. Doing it now as well. That's a, that's a guard. I suppose this is the easiest one to see. How does he know? How does he know who these people are? So like, yeah, you're dressed in rags. That is probably him. I mean, we could have surmised that perhaps we had a description. Like a red guard, I think he is. Yeah, if we say we got a description, that works. We can assume that for every frickin' thing we do. Description. So, now that we've uh, found him. Seen, but only because he saw us. Soon that's not going to matter so much. A beggar eaten by flies? Oh, actually, we wouldn't go this way, would we? Because if we check the map, we have to get back here now. Which means, of course, going down this way again. But that's quicker than going this way, is it? I mean, if we drop down here and then just go around there. Not much difference again. Let's just get in through here. Hmm, whether it's possible or not. We could go down here and then along this road. That's what we'll do. It seems like this is the more sensible, sensible escape route down the river. At least if I don't get stuck on something on the... Like the river. Oh dear. Might be time for a consult command. I mean, surely the developers tested this, right? They were like, well, what if someone tries to actually go over the waterfall? Oh, they get... They get stuck. Yeah, and, well, that's it. They get stuck and, you know... Well, that's it. You're playing on the console? Tough. You gotta restart the game. Thankfully. PC Master World. Master Race. I'm just... Okay. There we go. Down here. Yes. This is us going down the waterfall, everyone. Going down the waterfall. 
Yes. Tough little lizard. I know. Would have killed mere mortals, but... Mothers. <laughs> ah. Ah, another. Let me know if this is breaking your emotion at all. <laughs> I gotta take some steps to tell the story. Okay, this is probably a little bit much. Probably. Yeah, the reason why they stop you going down the waterfalls is because you would freaking die. Ah, well, regardless, we got down here. And, um... Oh, we this, uh... Yeah, so the beggar was killed by a swarm of insects. Ah! Trial also like pretty nanroots. Relieve trial and pretty nanroots alone. Save alone, leave alone. Well, leave alone. No, it's fine. Enjoy your nanroots. Rest has plenty. Gotta find a way. Where the hell am I? Uh, I'll go this way for a bit. I'm gonna check the map every, every five seconds. <laughs> but as I was saying, yeah, the, the 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 whole swarm that attacked the beggar, I can see that being passed off as uh, natural. Well, you know, he stank, man. He stank, so... Oh, yeah, and so we get to level up. A little bit of stamina, maybe. A little bit of magic. A little bit of magic. <laughs> and we got another perk, although... Unless it happens to be in... Well, the conjuration we've increased over 30. So let's have a quick look. And weapons do more damage. Just suddenly started using that weapon a bit more, haven't I? And cast Soul Trap on targets. Saves me casting Soul Trap. Spirit Binding. Yeah, I've been casting that. Yeah, that kind of maybe works. What's it lead on to? No, I'm just curious. Bad weapons do more damage. Banish undead summons creatures. And I don't want to use weapons too much, you see. Bound weapons train magic. This is all bound weapons and stuff. Oh, yes, and thank you for the... Um, Hint about the twin souls. All the corpses around you, yes. Um, that one is tempting. One other thing that increased quite a bit was alteration. And again, not quite mage armor. No. Allows you to forge an arcane converter, which can convert magicka into soul energy for powering enchantments. Higher skill levels allow the creation of more potent converters. Enchantment? Higher skills and spells that you skill back to double each rank in a school. Reduces the cost of spells by skill by 10%. I might have that. I think that's a good one to get. We'll get that one, and we'll probably get, um, yeah, the bound weapon one. I don't use it oh, too much anyway, but he has been using it, so, you know, he might get better with it. He does have that bound weapon. I might use it a bit more now. I don't want to buy spells that I'm not going to use, even though, you know, fear and calm and such does go into that category now, because all the enemies I'm facing are too good for them. Anyway, not that. Well, maybe, maybe a bit, but what I meant was... Oh, so pretty and shiny. 